Hello, beautiful people. Like, share, and subscribe. Uh, so let me talk about Ye Ye Bello and the EFCC uh, chairman. So uh, the EFCC chairman said he called, you know, Ye Ye Bello. I don't want to call him Ye Bello or whatever his name is. I'll call him Ye Ye Bello. So he has been alleged to have stolen 80 billion of uh, Naira of Kogi's money and bought, he even bought a big house in Abuja. And the EFCC also seized about seven hundred sixty thousand dollars about it just call it a million dollars because i'm seeing that the total money is about eight hundred and something thousand dollars for his children uh, in in an american international school in abuja you understand for his four children until graduation that was towards the end of him living this year bello is the reason why some people tell you that this not too young to rule it's just a scam I don't know why money so I don't know an, an average Nigerian sees money as all at all. I just see it as the extreme poverty because people have been so deprived over the years. So people just see money as an important thing, you know. Like me, I've always said it. I I, I don't know, I, I'm not saying that money is not important, but I don't see money as all at all. I'm telling you the truth. I see money to me, just if I have food and have small money, I'm fine. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, things like cars, they don't freak me out. I don't know. You know, all these things that freak many young Nigerians out. By the way, I'm not getting young anymore. Things like uh, where all this NSC clubbing, showing off, spraying money. and I don't know where people get all this mentality. I think people, people it's many people that suffer the extreme poverty and people that like show up. The only thing I actually like as a person is just a good house. You understand? I don't like those Nigerian pattern of houses. I'm talking of house with glass facade, looking into nature, or house with big lawn. I like big compound, you know. So I don't believe in the only big uh, building house choking everywhere. No space and everything, greenery, you know. If my house is overlooking a mountain, all those type of things, I like it. But let me go back to this uh, Yebelu story. So this man is just somebody that just wasted the whole state money. I heard Kogi is one of the poorest states young man who, that was supposed to do things out of the box i remember when this man was fighting dangote making dangote that time saying dangote doesn't pay taxes even dangote said is part of the problem but he was making it look as if the dangote is the reason why the state is not developed that dangote is destroying the roads the built in that place and there's no development you know so you see all these young you know i don't know what to say about nigeria i've always mentioned we should scrap this state governorship thing it's a waste of time Let's have one central person so that everybody will focus on that one central person. Just the way everybody focus on the presidency. If we have six regions and we have six different people on those regions in charge of the finance of that region, people will focus on that person. Because these many of these governors, they don't do anything. Look at uh, uh, Jigawa. How many times have you heard something about Jigawa? If they are eating money there, you don't know. Look at Gombe. You ha- Gombe, I don't know. Gombe is one of the most beautiful states. You hardly hear anything happening in that Gombe. You understand what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I have some friends in Gombe, that's what I'm telling you. So, looking at this year, Bello, it's just a big disappointment. So, EFCC called him, he's telling the EFCC chairman to come to his village to arrest him. And the EFCC chairman is saying that if he doesn't arrest the Bello, he's going to resign. You understand what I'm saying? But the question I want to ask, all this money they're getting, what are they not supposed to be transparent enough to tell us what they're using it for? The federal government should allocate something for this money and say, oh, this money... We co- all we collect from all these corrupt people. We are using it to build schools in the six regions. We are using it to build primary health care centers. We are using it to mechanize agriculture. Tell us what to use the money for. At least this money from corruption money should be used for specific things, and they should be it should be obvious so that people see not giving it back to the state governor governor to steal it. Then the person that uh, the governor put in that to do very unintelligent guy him and Yabelo. You see in defending Yabelo. Eh? You see people like Reno Mokri telling you that Yabelo is a hey God. That Reno Mokri, and he says he's a man of God. And he's saying he wants Nigeria to better and he's defending Yabelo. It shows you the kind of people that we have in this Nigeria. A, lo- a lot of. And will I even call Reno Mokri a young man? Oh, no, no. This Nigeria. Sometimes when you think about it, you just. Ah, young people just. They just want the country to suffocate. One of the poorest states in Nigeria. They say if you go there, nothing is happening there. I'm telling you, we should scrap this state governorship thing. 
uh, have uh, each region will have his own pal- uh, own uh, parliament. One million, everybody it can be more than one, one million. If you steal money, you go to twenty years, thirty years, or depending on the amount of the money you steal. But the minimum should be ten years. What are we doing? What are we doing? Eh? I beg. I just hope the government should do the right thing, not come and do film show. There's Malami there. Many governors. Ah, God. Many people are so long. That's why when we tell you that P2B is exemplary, I hear that some of you start fighting us. Uh, left big money there. No governor has tried it. People are still victimizing him. Ganging up. It's a shame. Oh. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section.